The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Celebrity is a tough business all around, and the pressures of fame and wealth can be too much for some actors to handle. While these are problems that most people would envy, these actors might beg to differ. They came close to derailing their careers, but we're glad they were able to rebound back into the spotlight. Natalie Portman Natalie Portman has never really left the public eye, but she sees it differently. She told New York Magazine, I was in the biggest grossing movie of the decade and no director wanted to work with me. Which makes it sound like most of Hollywood agreed with the hate that hardcore fans have for the Star Wars prequels. I can't fight a war for you. Jar Jar Binks. Isa, your highness? Yes. I need your help. But with the help of some friends in high places, she bounced back in a series of roles in movies like Cold Mountain, Garden State, Closer, and Black Swan. Now, Portman is once again considered one of Hollywood's top actresses. She appeared in the first two Thor movies, and her role in ex machina director Alex Garland's Annihilation suggests she still knows how to pick a script. Paul Rubens You probably know him as Pee Wee Herman, and the scandal that derailed his career has been a punchline for years. In 1991, Paul Rubens was arrested for indecent exposure inside an adult theater because apparently most watch adult films for the thrilling plots. In the fallout from the incident, CBS stopped airing reruns of Pee-wee's Playhouse, and Rubens retreated from the public eye for many years. After years out of the limelight, Rubens reclaimed his famous character, donning the gray suit and red bow tie once again for the 2016 Netflix film Pee-wee's Big Holiday. Nearly 30 years after the character's last major film, Big Top Pee-wee, the new release was positively embraced by fans and critics alike. Robert Downey Jr. He had promising beginnings in a number of critically acclaimed big-budget films, not to mention a stint on SNL, but Robert Downey Jr.'s sudden fame, mixed with an undiagnosed bipolar disorder, resulted in a number of drug and alcohol-related arrests in the late 90s. After cleaning up his act, Downey started to roll out the hits, appearing in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Gothica, A Scanner Darkly, and Tropic Thunder. He's most known for his ongoing lead roles in Guy Ritchie's Sherlock Holmes series and in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Tony Stark, also known as Iron Man. Nothing like starring in a multi-billion dollar franchise to pull you out of a little personal slump, huh? Mike Tyson The terrifying Tyson didn't start his career as an actor, but found a renaissance as one. Known best as a boxing champion, Tyson's controversial life has included multiple accusations of violence against women, longtime drug and alcohol abuse. But I knew when I was in that court and when I was going to get that verdict, I knew the verdict was going to be guilty. And biting off a chunk of Evander Holyfield's ear in their 1997 rematch. After retreating from the public eye in shame, Tyson found a new life by appearing in The Hangover from 2009. Since then, he got his own cartoon series, Mike Tyson Mysteries. Holyfield and Tyson appeared together in a post credit scene during the 2013 boxing movie Grudge Match. You can also catch Tyson taking on martial arts and action star Donnie Yen in Ip Man 3. Drew Barrymore Child actress Drew Barrymore's career was almost over before it began. After starring in the 1982 hit E.T. at age 7, Barrymore became notorious for abusing alcohol, marijuana, and cocaine by her own admission starting at the age of 8. Fortunately, thanks to rehab and the unlikely help of a family friend. I had to live with David Crosby oh. for two months. Which is crazy because David had his own problems. I know, he, right. is, he was an interesting <laughs> character um, yeah. in itself. What? Barrymore found sobriety and started her wildly successful second act, starring in movies like Scream, The Wedding Singer, and Never Been Kissed. Barrymore also focuses on her family and charity work while appearing in ads as one of the faces of CoverGirl. But that doesn't mean she's slowing down in terms of acting, despite the fact that she only took four roles from 2009 to 2016. Because if she could come back from being a teenage addict and the train wreck that was Charlie's Angels' full throttle, she can come back from anything. Fred Willard Comedian and actor Fred Willard's career was marked by nothing but funny movies, until his 2012 arrest for a lewd act in an adult theater. The arrest cost him his job hosting Market Warriors, but Willard was quick to recover after an honest interview on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon in which he showcased his legendary sense of humor. Jimmy, what do you want to talk about first? <laughs> You know, let me say this. It's the last time I'm going to listen to my wife when she says, why don't you go out and see a movie? <laughs> Since then, he's appeared in Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues, Fifty Shades of Black, and a handful of television roles, and most likely discovered the joys of private browsing mode. Mickey Rourke. 
Former boxer and semi-reluctant actor Mickey Rourke enjoyed a successful career until he was arrested for spousal abuse in 1994 after assaulting his then-wife, Carrie Otis. Oh yeah, and he was responsible for getting her accidentally shot in the chest once, too. Just a guess, but he probably didn't get a world's best husband mug that Christmas. As a result, Rourke almost gave up the spotlight completely, returning to boxing, then to acting, then to boxing again. Wait, is he boxing in a kilt? Anyway, he bounced back to acting for good with a lead role in 2005 Sin City. Let's go. This major return, which he attributes to his manager and his dogs, led to Rourke appearing in The Wrestler, Iron Man 2, and The Expendables. Rob Lowe. In the age of the Kardashians, it's hard to remember that a sex tape could once ruin someone's career, and Rob Lowe had one of the first. Only a few years into his career, Lowe was filmed with at least three different women, one of whom was barely above legal age, sparking a wave of media controversy when the tape was made available for sale against his will. Lowe quickly recovered, thanks to the apparent indifference of Hollywood and a willingness to own up to the situation. During the years since he rebounded from his scandal, Lowe has appeared in dozens of movies, including the Cameron Diaz and Jason Segel movie, Sex Tape, which was a nice meta joke in the form of stunt casting. Even more impressive, his television resume spans hundreds of episodes across dozens of noteworthy shows, including the likes of The West Wing, Parks and Recreation, Californication, Moonbeam City, and The Grinder. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know which actors you think we should have added to the list.